सो हेलो एवरीबडी दिस इज यूम बैक अगेन विद न्यू वीडियो ऑन वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ के चैम जी एस आई एवरी थिंग सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम मोर नुमेरिकल्स फ्रॉम इंजीनियरिंग जियोलॉजी बिफोर दैट दिस इज माई चैनल ओवर हियर विल गेट लॉर्ड्स ऑफ वीडियो रिगार्डिंग द सेम प्लीज चेक दिस आउट इट विल रियली हेल्प यू और माई चैनल नेम इज अर्थोलिक शिवम राजपूत ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दैन जियोलॉजी न्यूमेरिकल्स ओके सो जियोलॉजी न्यूमेरिकल्स खल्स ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑल अबाउट इंजीनियरिंग जियोलॉजी सो दिस इज फ्रॉम गेट एंड एक्चुअली इट्स गेट ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन क्वेश्चन सो द क्वेश्चन इज a cylinder core of granite with radius of 25 mm was subjected to point load test the load was applied parallel to parallel to the diameter diameter of the core and the failure load the failure load was 20 kN okay kilo newton the uncorrected point load the uncorrected point load index is so we have to find this uncorrected point load strength index sorry strength index dash is dash mega pascals we have to find in mega pascals now for this you should know about point load test okay so now the question is we have to find point load strength or index okay so let's see what exactly it is what point load test it is okay so the formula for the above question is basically the point load strength it is denoted by is s is small is p by d square where this p is failure load p equal to failure load and this d is nothing but diameter of sample so both things are already given in the question what we need is this formula we have to by heart this formula it's very easy okay so now the formula over here is this one so now let's solve this question to find the answer so in the above question sample diameter is already given sample diameter it is given d that is equal to 2r we know diameter is two times of radius which is equal to 50 mm see it is already given uh, 50 mm in the question it is sorry it's 25 mm i am sorry it's 25 mm okay so sorry for that it is 25 mm when we multiply with 2 then it becomes 50 now it's correct right so now it's 50 mm because it's 2 are clear or not see here it's a radius and diameter is twice of radius so we can write 50 mm we can convert in into meter by multiplying this 
uh, sorry and by dividing this it becomes meter okay 10 to the power minus 3 meter you can write it like this now failure load failure load that is p here it is 20000 in why 20000 see 20 kilo naught kilo newton okay so kilo means 10 to the power 3 so 20 and 10 to the power 3 is this one so total 20000 newton now using the above equation that is 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 equal to p by d square so this is is equal to uh, this is is what point load strength index p by d square p by d square okay here p is 20000 by d 50 into 10 to the power minus 3 when you divide it becomes 8 mega pascals so this is your final answer we have to find answer in mega pascals and yeah so this is your answer okay now let's solve some other question from engineering geology okay now this question is based on another kind of test that is called brazilian test okay brazilian test okay so again uh, to determine the tensile strength using this brazilian test method you should know the formula so the formula for tensile strength is basically it is denoted by t mu it is 2p by pi d l where this p means again failure load failure load d is the diameter diameter of sample and your l is the thickness of sample thickness of sample so you should know this formula okay to solve the upcoming question let's see what the formula is and what the question is okay so the question over here is sorry brazilian brazilian test was conducted on rock sample on rock sample having radius of 27 millimeter and thickness of 22 millimeter the failure load the failure load was 5 kilo newton the finally we have to find tensile strength the tensile strength of the rock of the rock is dash newton per millimeter square we have to find this is gate 2017 question okay gate 2017 Okay, now let's see how to solve this so again all you need is this formula uh, okay so diameter of the sample is given diameter of sample no radius is given we have to make it into diameter okay so d is equal to 2r 2r already it is 27 in the question see it's 27 let's change the color 27 so it becomes 54 millimeter right okay now according to this formula that is t mu is equal to 2p by pi dl 2p by pi dl okay so when you solve this 
it becomes 2 into p how much p already it is c 5 kilo newton that means 5000 newton kilo means 1000 by pi is how much so 3.14 into 54 diameter is your 54 millimeter and length is 22 millimeter see it's 22 millimeter okay so now your 22 is over here when you solve it you will get the value something like this so that's it i hope this is very easy to you right you can take a screenshot right now okay if you have any doubt please do comment i will try to make videos on the same okay now let's solve some other question based on abrasion value okay uh, the third question again it is from gate okay so the, okay question is los angeles abrasion test abrasion test was conducted so let me tell you what this abrasion test is so basically this abrasion test is a aggregate uh, aggregates the measure of toughness uh, and you can say it it's all about abrasion resistance to crushing to degradation to disintegration of a particular rock okay so see these concepts are important but over here you should go with the formula if you know the formula you can crack the question okay so let's see conducted for granite aggregate agree sorry becomes Chinese aggregate with an initial weight of 4800 gram after the test after the test the aggregate weight the aggregate weight is 3504 grams okay so now we have to find the Los Angeles Angels abrasion value in percentage abrasion value dash in percentage okay so let's see the formula first then it is very easy see all engineering geology questions okay are based on formula okay all you need to know is formula that's it nothing else so this abrasion value i am using uh, sorry av av it's not average it's abrasion value uh, this is equal to w1 minus w2 by w1 into 100 okay where this w1 is what it's a uh, original weight okay it's a original weight of aggregate sample weight of aggregate sample okay and it is always in gram remember this point okay it is always in gram if it is in kg make it gram and then solve the question then wt is what it's a weight of aggregate weight of aggregate after the sample test okay aggregate sample sorry aggregate uh, again it becomes chinese aggregate sample after the test after the test again it is in grams okay 
now you have w1 w2 you know what it means and both the values are already given in the questions so after the test this is the weight before the test initial is this much 4800 so that's it done very easy right so i can use now both the values to solve the question done 27 percent done both are in gram gram okay done easy right see if you feel easy just hit a like right now okay and please do comment okay easy i hope this is easy everybody okay now let's see uh, let's solve some other question okay now one more question from gate 2020 from engineering geology only so this liquid limit and plastic limit of a soil are 40 percent and 20 percent respectively okay uh, if the natural if the natural that is uh, natural means in situ okay if the natural water content the natural water content of the soil is 30 percent then we have to find liquidity index so the liquidity index is index is this is gate 2020 the recent one gate 2020 question okay now again you should know the formula to solve this question so this liquidity index denoted by li is w minus pl by ll minus pl okay now let's see what this ll pl okay what it is so this ll is your liquid limit liquid limit take a screenshot of this formula okay it is very helpful to you okay then pl what this pl means this pl is plastic limit plastic limit see engineering geology is very easy believe me this is w is moisture water okay moisture is nothing but water so moisture content now everything is given in the question see everything is given just put it in the formula so 0 0.3 since it is in percentage so i will divide okay just say 30 percent 30 by 100 it becomes 0 0.3 minus 0 0.2 by 0 0.4 minus 0 0.2 both are pl pl okay when you solve this you will get 0 0.5 that's it super easy right hit a like button right now okay so now you want more questions huh i think that's it for today chalo fir thank you everybody for listening me if agar tum abhi tak sun rahe ho you are really preferring for gate right so yeah 